Well, JJ, you're the Bulls' number two receiver right now. Yes. 17 catches, 235 yards, and a touchdown. Give me a sense of how this season has gone for you and the role that you've created for yourself. Um, it kind of starts, you know, day one at practice. Coach Lembo echoes it every day. Just be your best every day. Come out and practice. Come with intent. Um, come to practice with, with a goal in mind, not just coming out here to practice, running around. And, um, you know, that practice translates to the game. We take a step on Tuesday, take another step on Wednesday, take another step on Thursday. And then Saturday rolls around and we're ready. You have been part of a passing game that has kind of evolved a little bit here in the last couple of weeks. Two of right. the best passing performances, particularly for quarterback C.J. Agbana. What's the next step for this passing game? And keep it up. We, we set the bar up here. Coach P uh, echoes it every day in the meeting. We set the bar up here. So this is where we got to play. And um, if we want to win these last four games, we got to exceed that bar. Anything in particular that has allowed this passing game to to evolve like it has? Uh, I think it's just trust on the offense. Uh, like I said, uh, we put in work day in, day out, every practice, um, really locking in and focusing on, you know, the details, what, what went wrong, what we can do better. And um, so we're ready on uh, Saturday. To... All right. One of your highlights this year was the 40 yard touchdown catch against <laughs> UMass. And then it comes out afterwards that you hit 21 miles per hour <laughs> as you were getting downfield. Like that's pretty darn fast. What's what's how does that feel? What was that like? Um, I felt like I was uh, a little slow on that one, too. I, I can go a little bit faster on that. So hopefully we can clock in that. Maybe 22, 23. I think Al J hit 21 on his touchdown run, too. So we got to figure out who the real fastest guy on this definitely, team is. Definitely. Talking uh, with Bulls wide receiver <laughs> J.J. Jenkins as we get you ready for Buffalo and Akron. You spent your career at Columbia, graduated from there, all Ivy League as a player. What was the experience like playing in the Ivy League in New York City? Man, it, it was amazing. You're, you're in New York City with a good group of guys just out there loving ball, just out there playing ball, um, just with each other. Man, it was, it was an awesome experience. So because you had one year of eligibility left, but you couldn't do it there, you had the opportunity to transfer. Why Buffalo? Well, um, I'm not going to lie. Buffalo was really my uh, only shot. They were really reaching out to me. Um, you know, uh, after the season, they uh, reached out and said, you know, we want you. And um, really no other school really kind of gave that opportunity. So I just kind of ran with it. And uh, here I am today. And then finally, and this is a super cool thing to say, you're the first in your family to have a college degree and not only just a college degree, an Ivy League Columbia yes, degree. Sir. How good does that feel? How proud are they of you? Oh, man, it's uh, it's it's amazing to be able to learn from them and, you know, grind all my life and have that opportunity to present itself and, you know, finish strong. Staying in New York from one end to the other here, uh, doing <laughs> good things in the western part of the state. Uh, JJ, it's been fun to have you on, on the team this year. Good luck against Akron. Thank you, guys.